in Burgess City Grant and that Robinson. delivers that economic return going forward. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, if ever the National Party wanted to signal to New Zealanders that it was out of touch and out of ideas, it's to put David Bennett up as the first speaker in a debate. David Bennett stands up in this House and says, it's never been easier for New Zealanders to buy their first home. Well, tell that to the people who live in Auckland, Mr Bennett. Tell that to the people in Auckland who see a house on the North Shore make more money than most people who go to work each day in a year in Auckland, because that's what we're seeing in Auckland today. And in these financial statements, Mr Speaker, Mr Chair, what we see is a government out of touch, out of ideas, arrogant in their third term, breaking promises and lowering the standards that we would expect from a government. You know, Mr Chair, we've heard from the Prime Minister this week that he's the most casual Prime Minister in New Zealand's history. Well, I tell you what, he is pretty casual about wages and the fact that they're not keeping up. He is pretty casual about the fact that unemployment's still higher than it was when the global financial crisis started. He is pretty casual about the fact that housing affordability is the worst that it has been in 60 years. And he's very casual indeed about the impact on the regions of the neglect of this government. And if this government wanted a sign of that, it came in the Northland by-election. The signal to this government that the regions of New Zealand are feeling neglected and forgotten, all the way from roads to broadband, all the way to the investment that we would expect in the economy. It's not happening from this government. Ed Miliband in the UK said something interesting the other day talking about the Conservative government there. He said people tell them that there's prosperity, but most working people feel that that's prosperity that's happening to someone else somewhere else. And that is what the people of Northland have been telling the, the New Zealand government, and that's what the people of the regions are telling us as we travel around. It's all very well to celebrate an economy built on the recovery from natural disaster and one commodity price, but that's not good enough for the New Zealand economy. It's not good enough after seven years for Bill English to stand up in this House and make excuse after excuse for why he will break his promise to New Zealanders to deliver a surplus, why he will break his promise to New Zealanders to reduce the level of borrowing. $85 billion. That's the debt today, $85 billion. Bill English has borrowed more money than Rob Muldoon. Rob Muldoon, John Key's political hero, I don't think he's Bill English's political hero, but Bill English has borrowed more money than him. And we are not in a surplus, and we will not be in a surplus, despite what we have been told, a broken promise from this government. Now, it was Bill English himself, Mr Chair, who said that getting into surplus was one of the most important things a government could do in order to safeguard the economy. He said that in this House, in fact. He said that, and today in Parliament, he said he recalled saying that.